around the world, as well as those who still nurture illusions that a strategic defeat can be inflicted against Russia, about events that are happening in the Special Military Operation Zone. I'm talking about what happened in the wake of long-range Western weapons being used in the Special Military Operation Zone. As a result of the escalation, in the United States and their NATO allies said that they give their permission to use long-range weapons against targets inside Russia. Experts know fully well, and the Russian side has underscored this time and again, that using such weapons without the direct involvement of military operators from manufacturing countries is impossible. On November the 19th, six Attackums missiles manufactured in the US were used, and on the 21st, a combined attack using Storm Shadow manufactured in the UK and missiles manufactured in the US were used to attack missile targets in the Bryansk and Kursk regions of the Russian Federation. Starting from that point, as we have underscored many times, the regional conflict in Ukraine provoked by the West, acquired a global character. Our anti-missile systems countered those attacks. As a result, the targets and objectives set by the enemy were not achieved. The fire and the ammunition storage in the Bransk region, as a result of fragments of attackers' missiles falling, has been contained. No victims. In the Kursk region, one of the command and control centers of our Hansever group was attacked. As a result of the attack and the countermeasures, there have been uh, people wounded and killed. And those who were involved in servicing these uh, facilities, but those who were members of the uh, command, have not have not been hit by the attack and are now continuing their operation to remove the enemy from the Kursk region. I repeat, the use of such weapons cannot change the course of the special military operation. Our military is successfully advancing along the entire line of contact, and all the objectives that we set before ourselves will be met. As a response, to the use of US and UK manufactured um, weapons, the Russian forces have uh, carried out a combined strike on one of the military industrial facilities in Ukraine. And this included the test of a novel uh, intermediate range a Russian missile system, a ballistic missile with a non-nuclear hypersonic um, payload was used. The test was carried out successfully. The objectives of the launch have been met. One of the largest and well-known industrial centers that is known since the Soviet times in the uh, Dnieper region, which is known and to, to be involved in enemy production, was hit. And further uh, plans are being made in Europe and the Asia Pacific to deploy uh, weapons and missiles. And we believe it is a mistake on the part of the Un United States uh, to destroy uh, the system that was established by the uh, missile treaty. In 2019, we see that the United States and their allies are now considering and has successfully tested their capabilities to deploy advanced missile systems in different parts of the world. And their exercises routinely include the use of such weapons. Russia has unilaterally I refused to deploy intermediate and small-range missiles until we see similar 
um, weapons deployed by the United States in a region of the world. The use of the novel system, and the, which was essentially an operational test, was carried out in response to the decisions made by the United States and their allies. And the further actions will be considered and decided based on what we see uh, from them. The further course of action will be determined based on the threats to the security of the Russian Federation. We believe that we have the right to use our weapons against military facilities of countries who allow their weapons to be used against ours. And in case of an escalation, we will act as decisively in a mirror fashion. The ruling elites of the countries are nurturing plans to use their military contingents against Russia should be warned. When choosing our measures to be used in response, such as the use of systems that was attested recently in Ukraine, will certainly include our warnings to civilians and to clear the zones that will be targeted. And we will certainly do this and in a transparent fashion. And we do not have any fears that it will reduce the effectiveness of those systems because there is no way to counteract a missile that flies at a 10 Mach, which is 2.5 to 3 octaves per second. The existing anti-missile systems and the anti-missile systems deployed by the United States and Europe cannot intercept such missiles. It is impossible. So, once again, it is not Russia, but the United States who have destroyed the system of international security. And they are trying to preserve their hegemony and stoking a global conflict. We have always preferred, and we still prefer, to resolve our disagreements and using peaceful means. But we are prepared for any scenario. And if anyone has any doubts, they shouldn't. There will always be a response.